Hello there guys and welcome to another Milk is Nose tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at animating like Apple. So if we come to the Apple website and we go to iPhone XX and we scroll down and we can see here this bit we're going to be doing today. So down to there. So from here and then we're going to do, be animating this phone, these phones up, and then we're going to slide them across, and then we're going to move them into the three phones there. So, um, thanks, Gornor. I think that's your name. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, thanks for the idea. Um, Apple aren't using GSAP um, or Scroll Magic, but we will be today. So, um, yeah, I think we should just crack on with the code. Okay, so I've gone ahead already and I've made the HTML and the CSS because I, you know, I'm not sure you guys want to sit there uh, and, and watch me type all this stuff out. But um, some of you have said that, you know, you want me to just go on to the, to the GSAP. So um, if you do want me to, to do more HTML and CSS along with these, let me know. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to run through this anyway, what we have so far. So, um, we've got a header section where the main text is. So let's let's go and have a look actually. Um, let's close this one. Um, okay, so we've got our header section here and then down below it, we have kind of where uh, Apple finishes um, on, on like the first part. So if we scroll up, we can see here. So it's kind of here that I've got to. So we're gonna be animating to that to start with and then this next part here is going to be a new scene so um, yeah basically then uh, we, so we've got our full height section here which is our this part and then below that we've got another full height section which is this part um, we've got our iPhone image wrapper so this is where all of our bits will go inside this wrapper um, and then we've got our um, our text here on the left so you can see here uh, and our text on the right which is in this container um, and then we've got our images so we've got two images one on top of the other so we can see that's our image one there and image two here and then what we're doing is because if we go back here we can see that when we scroll they go like that. So we, we've got three other phones in here. So what I've done basically, just quickly, is in our first uh, phone, hidden behind that, I have got a um, uh, the, the other phone that's gonna pop out. So that's positioned absolutely right behind it. And then the same again with the second phone. So we've got this one on the top, and then underneath, we, we, we've got this one, and then if we go to Apple site, we can see that if you look, then we've got three phones. So there's one in the center. So then I've got another one that I've got on display none for the, in, in right in the center, which is, uh, yeah, this one. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, now that we've got, well, well, what I'll do is I'll leave all this, um, HTML in the, um, below so you can download it. Um, I won't be able to put the images in, I don't think, though, because I don't know if Apple, Apple would be too happy about that. And I don't want to get sued. So I'm sure, like, if you go to their website, if you want to practice or whatever, you, you can pull them off the site like I have. So, yeah, um, uh, let's start by doing the JavaScript. Okay, so um, I'm going to open up our JS file. Actually, let, let's split this so we can see... Uh, our HTML and then in the right hand side we're going to open up the JS okay um, now what we need to do first is if we come back here and we look at what Apple do so we've got a big phone here and it's coming up and it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller so we need to push our phone up and we also need to scale it down so um, let's start by 
making a new timeline. So if we go var tl first scroll equals new timeline max. And I've spelt timeline wrong there, haven't I? Timeline max. Um, let me come across. And then we're going to grab that tl first scroll. Oh, first. Uh, like that. And um, so we're going to want to set it pretty big at the moment because our phones are only that size. So let's come back and go up here and then we can say um, dot set and then we're going to grab our iPhone um, what have I called it iPhone image wrapper iPhone oh sorry we need to put these in uh, our quotes so let's go like that and then iPhone image wrapper um, and we want to scale it up so um, let's go scale and let's try like five so we're going to make need it to go pretty big so let's see uh, what have we got now let's come back and see if anything's happened that's not ours this one's ours and that is absolutely huge so uh, we can scale this down a bit more so let's try four and see what happens okay that's better um, but as you can see it's right up the top so um, there's actually two things we can do one's probably the wrong way and one is probably the right way but I can show you sort of what, what we could do one option is to push it down so we could go um, y like a hundred percent like that oh I need to put our quotes on again always forget that um, so that should push it right down but the only problem with this is uh, when on different size screens it's you know it's going to be it's not gonna it's going to be wrong so um, basically what tween max will do is scale an image from the center and the center so that's why we're getting it like this so if we go scale four and then we can say transform uh, origin and we go center and top so this will scale from the top this time so we should see that it's pushed down and it's scaling from the top of the actual um, from the actual section next section so uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. did I leave uh, okay so sorry we can get rid of our Y 100% because we don't need to push that down anymore so um, have I just done something wrong there let's let's refresh and then that's there that's better so you can see that we're coming from the top now so um, what is next uh, we need to like what do Apple do let's have a look um, let's come back here and then so it needs to come up and then scale down so we need to push it up or pull it up whatever and then push it and then scale it down so let's come back in here and from for our next thing we'll say two um, and then we'll go um, what do we need to say now to transform or what have I done wrong here something's gone wrong iPhone 2 uh, I'm just gonna pull this across so I can see it better uh, I've put a dot there that's not supposed to go there two and again we can grab our image wrapper so normally I would make variables for this but I think it's just easier to show you so we can sort of see what's going on here and what's going on over here so we'll, we'll keep them we'll keep calling them by their class names for now uh, um, let's copy that oh wrong one let's copy this put that in there um, and <coughs> excuse me uh, so then we want to go on that and then say three seconds and then let's scale it down 
So let's go halfway. Let's try halfway first. So scale two. Um, and we also want to push it up. So um, let's go. Uh, oh, wrong one. What am I doing? Um, come on there. And then let's try like Y and then let's push it up like, I don't know. Um, let's try 60% or something. I don't know why I put that there. 60%. And then, <clears throat> sorry, these should be like that. Oh, not the whole thing there. So Y of 60%. And then um, we'll come down and we can see here. Oh, we're going the wrong way. So we need to go minus 60 to push it up. So let's come back and there we go. So that's going up now. And it's probably a bit too much there. So if we, we can maybe lower this to 50%, let's give that a go and see what happens. And there we go. So that's looking better. Um, and uh, let's just see if we go like this. So we would need to make a few adjustments for um, a responsive site, but I think this is kind of, you know, we, 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 we'll get the big site done. The big version done, the desktop version done. Now obviously, you could change this when uh, for your phones and stuff. But let's go like this, and then move it up. And then what we want to do is scale it down. So if we're coming here, then it scales down from the center. So uh, let's come down here, and then again we're going to go. Oh, we could just copy this, copy this line. Um, duplicate it and then uh, again three seconds and then scale of um, what should we do we need to get it back to its normal sort of state don't we so we use scale one and then y zero so that will that should take it now to its original scale state and its original uh, y-axis state so Let's refresh, not on Apple's site, because that's already done. That's cheating. And then if we come down, we can see that it's going up and then coming down. Now, it looks like we might need to make a few adjustments because it's just not going up high enough. But, you know, we can we can work on this. Um, we might be able to change the scale, make the scale a bit different here, a bit bigger. So, that, yeah, I think that's... That may be better, or maybe not. Let's go 2.2 and then see what happens. So, yeah, okay. I think that's okay for now. We can we can mess around. Maybe we can maybe we can go y of minus 50 so it comes up a bit. There we go. That's better. Okay. So now we can start by um with a little bit of scroll magic. So uh, if we come down here and we're going to go var controller equals new and then we want to say scroll magic uh, dot controller and um, finish that off and then um, what should we do oh I'm gonna just say scene one okay um, and then we'll go var and then I'm gonna call this scene one and then we want to set a new scroll magic scene so we're going to go new scroll magic and dot scene and then we can open that and grab our curlies like that um, and now what we need to do is we need to trigger our animations uh, and we need to give scroll magic something to trigger them with so you can see here on our first section, which is this, I have made a trigger at the top called trigger one. So what scroll magic is gonna do is when we hit, as soon as we start scrolling, because of our, our things up here, it, we're gonna scroll down and then our animation's gonna, gonna start from this trigger. Okay, I hope you get that. Uh, and so what we need to do is set the trigger element element so we go trigger element and then um, we go like that and then we can put this 
as trigger one. So that's setting it, that's setting it up ready for us. Trigger one, okay. Um, and then we can, we need to give it a duration um, because oh, I need to finish that off like that. A uh, duration um, because we're scrolling. So we're gonna give it a scroll duration of 100%. And again, I need to wrap these in speech marks and then um, that let's let's see um, so and then what we need to do is we've told scroll magic when it hits the trigger to start the animation but we haven't actually told it to start the animation yet so that's what we need to do now so what we do is we go set tween and then we go and then we grab our TL first scroll because this is the timeline that we want to animate when we hit trigger one So let's bring that in there And then what I'm going to do is add Indicators So I forgot to explain actually in the first video. I have bought in um, some Plugins um, So we've got our tween max we've got our scroll magic and we're bringing in the animation from scroll magic and also an add indicators plugin so let's come back here and then we can say add indicators and this will show us where our trigger points are and where everything's getting triggered which is pretty handy and then we're going to go add to uh, controller so let's see what we've got now let's fingers crossed and everything will work mm, 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 mm. no nope. so what have i done wrong inspect it uncaught syntax error 20. so oh yeah uh, okay so that should be there and then now hopefully oh we've got another add indicators have i done some what have i done wrong here add inic donut add indicators okay so now we've got a nice clean console and let's move and then let's move down oh and we can see that's moving but it's not right yet so what do we do guys uh we need to bring it up we need to pull it up even more don't we uh so we whoa actually do we need to scale it from center center because it's moving down uh let's see so we're going like that um no actually I think because if we can see it, you guys probably can't see this very well, so sorry about that. I'll zoom in and then we can see that our trigger is here, halfway down. So it's starting a bit, starting at the wrong point. So if I zoom out again, um, no, where's my, back to 100%. And then um, what we can do here is we can, go trigger hook and set that to zero so what this means is usually without a trigger hook um, it's it's natural start position is the top so trigger hook of zero is down here so when we scroll see it's coming up earlier now so that's that's much better so uh, there cool so that's working all right. Um, and how long has this video been going on for? We have done 15 minutes. So I'm gonna um, do the next part. Let's quickly have a look. So in the next part, what we'll do, we've got to about here so far, haven't we? So then the next scene, we're gonna make these slide across like this, and then we'll open them up. But um, cheers for watching guys. And um, yeah, join me for the next one. Cheers.